Caitlin, how are you? You look good. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, dokie, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, kid folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? All right, hey, um, black man, I have a question. I have a question I have to ask you. If the Democrat Party switched the candidates and they put somebody like Gavin Newsom over Biden, are you going to go back to the plantation? What? Yeah, I'm asking a serious question. We have the debate coming up in uh, Atlanta. And after this debate happens, and I hope Trump keep his composure, give Biden all the rope to hang himself. After this happens, the audience, the Democrats, is going to demand for Biden to step down. And once that happens, they're going to put somebody like Gavin Newsom in. Are you going to stand firm and continue to vote with Trump? Or you're going to go back to home? I know that this is summertime and it's election season and they need a George Floyd incident. They need some black blood to be spilt in the street. They need to put your mural out. They need you to put you on some t-shirts, right? And we're going to have these pastors running around, hooping and hollering, talking about they killing black men in the streets. No justice! No justice! It was R. Neil Hurston who said, and I quote, if you're silent about your pain, they'll kill you and say you enjoyed it. We've assembled in this hollow ground today to say we will be silent no more. That we subpoena the conscience of America because America, like Alabama, is suffering from a schizophrenic personality. On one hand, you shout when Jalen Hurts scores a touchdown, but you're silent when a brother who looks like him is being killed. On one hand, you shout when Tommy Tuberville goes to the SEC, but you're silent when he partners with the party that is holding our people down. Are you going to go back home? We have people like Al Sharpton is going to pull out the race card and he's going to say stuff like this. As you know, Joe, I, I knew Donald Trump for 35 years, fought with him, uh, went to meet with him, tried to get him to do things. I've never seen a black employee in Donald Trump's uh, office. Not one. We have MSNBC here, the propaganda machine for the Democrat Party. They have this black woman here who's going to guilt trip you into voting for the Democrat Party. I actually think that this is a phenomenon that needs to be better understood. I think that the behavior of black voters, even in just polls right now, is quite interesting. It's something I'm trying to get at in my reporting. Um, I think the answer is that we don't know everything yet, and we'll certainly find out more in November. You know, my instinct is, first of all, that people forget. I mean, black voters are just like all voters. They, too, can be susceptible to disinformation campaigns. Um, black men, especially, because there is a divide, by the way, in this polling, in behavior between black men and women and, you know, their interest in Donald Trump. Black men may be attracted to Trumpism more than black women. That would be consistent with white voters as well. So that's another parallel to look at. I do think that this idea that there's going to be a wave of black voters voting for Donald Trump is highly unlikely because black Americans know that Donald Trump is a racist. And so I think that's something they understand implicitly. At the same time, 
I also wonder if the Biden campaign's uh, consistent messaging overall about the strength of the economy, especially, and how good things are, while that may be true on Wall Street and the indicators, the economy looks strong, black Americans in their daily lives aren't always feeling that. So when they don't hear their concerns and their lives and their interests represented in that campaign, it does, I believe, just talking to voters, it really does trigger this sense that they are being left behind, that they are being taken for granted. And I think the Biden campaign and Democrats in general are going to have to work harder this time to get that base to turn out. Yeah, are you going to fall for that? Huh? We also have CNN here. CNN is running around with their hair on fire, sounding the alarms and telling everybody the blacks are leaving the Democrat Party. And more than that, it's not just that Joe Biden is losing ground, it's that Donald Trump is gaining ground. You go from 7% single digits at this point in 2020 to now 21%. And again, John, I keep looking for signs that this is going to go back to normal, and I don't see it yet in the polling. If anything, right now we're careening towards a historic performance for a Republican presidential candidate, the likes of which we have not seen in six decades. Look at black voters under the age of 50. Holy cow, folks. Holy cow. Look at this. Joe Biden was up by 80 points among this group back at this point in 2020. Look at where that margin has careened down towards. It's now just, get this, 37 points. That lead has dropped by more than half, Mr. Berman. Home. I, I, I just never seen anything like this. I'm like speechless because you always look at history and you go, okay, this is a historic moment. If this polling is anywhere near correct, we are looking at a historic moment right now where black voters under the age of 50, which have historically been such a big part of the Democratic coalition, are leaving it in droves. If they switch the candidates and put Gavin Newsom in, are you going to go back home is the question. I don't agree with everything about President Trump. I don't agree with 100% everything that anybody does. However, I'm not voting based off of personal feelings. I'm voting based off personal experience. I've experienced Trump as president. I've experienced Joe Biden as president. And I like the way I, I like Trump as president more. This debate that's going to happen next week is a test balloon. We never had a debate this early on. And they're going to test it out to see how Biden is doing. And if he falls on his face, like we predict he is, they're going to ask him to step down. Now, remember this part. They've been saying that Biden is the sharpest president we ever had. Biden is so smart. Biden's so competent. And if they pull him, remember this. Okay? They've been lying to you the whole time. You see both those guys right there? I've spent time with both of those guys privately. I've spent time uh, with Biden and Trump privately. I've spent time with every House speaker over the past 30 years and Joe Biden. I'm not just, it's just not close. If you want to talk about international affairs, if you want to talk about how to get bipartisan legislation, Joe Biden is light years ahead of all of them. If they pull Biden, and put Gavin Newsom in or any other person to fill in that spot any time between July and November. If they switch them out, they've been lying to you the whole time. That's another test. You can't believe a word they say. And I have to say, he's sharp, he's engaged, he pushes us for information. I personally want Biden to go through it. I want to see him fall on his face. I want him to go all the way through November. But if they pull him out, Remember this, they've been lying to you this whole time. How competent he is, his cognitive, his mental, all this was a lie. And it's about character. <laughs> this election is about character. Yep. So you have two choices. You have my husband, Joe, who you all know, who has integrity, he's strong, he's steady, he's a leader, he's smart, he's energetic, or you have chaos. Are you going to go back home? If they put a big smile, Gavin Newsom, who's running down California, but he's tall, his hair is in place, and he got a Biden smile, are you going to fall for it? No. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I know you guys 
talking about you're going to vote for Trump, but you are talking about personality. I'm talking about philosophy. Okay, leave the plantation. Once you leave the plantation, you can't go back. Once you make it out the hood, you don't go back. You can't pull nobody back from the hood. You see what happened to all these rappers? Once they make it, they got the gold chain. They go back to the hood and try to floss. They get skinny pop pop. <laughs> Once you make it out the plantation, you don't go back. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get your ass up, my lord.